Now, analysts say they expect the renewed interest in banking stocks to continue as banks begin share issuances amid recapitalization plans. Mokhtar Mohammed, an analyst at Asai Investments, joins me for uh, an equities market update. Uh, Mokhtar, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me, Esther. Market Good resumed afternoon. trading today, but it uh, looks like we're still seeing a strong interest in banking counters, especially as banks gear up to you know, recapitalize and you know, show up their capital base uh, ahead of that 24-month deadline. We've seen a number of names uh, um, announcing plans in terms of how they're going to raise this cash. But talk to us about this strategic positioning we're seeing uh, amongst investors uh, and how it's all playing out. What is the, the play here? Well, uh, I think most investors are looking at in their rights um, because of what has, we've seen, um, investors have seen in Assets Bank where the right, um, the right issue is about um, um, 19 naira, 75 cover, and the price went low at to about 18 naira, 65 cover before the height uh, finishing at 19 naira today. And so investors are looking at that. That could be the trend. So when you see the kind of interest you're seeing, is uh, most investors are looking for another cheap means of getting their right, um, not taking all their right because the difference in price is, is a little bit high. So we we'll continue to see that, and others have not really told us their price, um, their right issue, what will be the, the, the price of those right issues, and what will be the uh, whether one for 10, like what we have in Fidelity, we have, which has been very clear. And that you could see that the price also have gotten close to their 10 naira 85 cover, crossing the 10 naira mark and making it um, those that are buying the right issue, buying it at a discount. But for Access Bank, most investors feel that if you are buying the right issue, the best time to, I mean, buying at a discount is when you buy now than taking the right issue because of the price variation. We are still waiting for GT Group to come up with their own. Of course, it closed today at 3 naira. Um, or, yeah, we've seen the movement also of um, Zenet Bank. Um, those from 32 naira is selling at 36 naira. So investors also are gearing to hear from them before the close of, um, of, of the month or what their plans are for right issue. For UB, I think um, during their last AGM, they made it clear how they want their right issues. Uh, that issue might come up anytime from now. And then the second one will come when the, the payment of interim dividend to their investors. And the final one will also come when they, find, they pay their final dividend next year. So they've given a clear cut roadmap. But for others, I think investors are still waiting to hear from them. Hmm. Interesting how, I mean, this is developing so much ahead uh, for us to discuss when these banks you know, close those deals and, you know, uh, share up their capital uh, base ahead of that uh, deadline. But let's talk about other aspects, uh, uh, other sectors uh, at the market. Uh, what else are investors uh, buying right now? What are the stocks that they in interested in? I think investors are seeing interest in um, Ines, especially uh, with what happened. Um, so we've seen that price moving still on beat. Remember that the investors that are exiting are exiting at about 81 Naira. Um, Guinness is selling for 66 Naira. So because of 66 Naira today, so a lot of investors are being defended over almost 20 something Naira. So investors are still looking at that share. Um, Nigerian Brew, we saw profit taking today in that share. Uh, that share close today at 29 Naira. Remember, that's also a company that people are looking for for their right issue. And when the news came from Guinness, Nigeria, we saw activities build up in that space of Nigerian brewery. So, but now we are seeing profit taking on that. Um, Dango Tasement, uh, with the exit from Nigeria of uh, BlackRock iShare, who happened to be a, a shareholder of um, Dango Tea. Hopefully, there might be, um, maybe they will be dispersing their, their shares to the market, or maybe uh, we have a, a legal dangle to acquire more of it. We, 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 we are yet to hear from this. So investors also are looking at that at that space for now. So I think a lot of activities, but all these activities are geared towards anticipation of um, what they think will happen in the near future. And then some also looking at uh, what has happened and going forward, what they expect. Right. Would you say, I mean, with all that's going on now, the banks uh, having this recapitalization coming up, 
raising more money. Uh, we know what that's going, what that means going forward. They'll be, it, they'll be able to take on bigger deals, uh, bigger uh, investments. You know, that will grow their bottom line significantly. I mean, that is expectation. Uh, we're seeing these exits of multinationals. We're seeing new players you know, come in. Are we seeing a structural shift in this market in terms of how I mean, the exits and the new uh, entrance into the market and how investors are positioning themselves uh, into these stocks? Uh, well, I think we have seen a new strategy, and um, but the strategy would definitely favor um, 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 high net investors than uh, retail investors. And like you say, institutional investors, maybe they want to benefit from this recapitalization. And also the Central Bank of Nigeria also may benefit, especially if they attract uh, foreign investors that will be bringing in FX to acquire some of these shares. Or well, I think those that will be the biggest loser will be the retail investors because I, I like a, a company like Asset that is safe for, for almost 50%. Some of these investors might not be able to get the right of 50% of their holding. That will create uh, more uh, uh, windows for the INET investors to acquire this right. Yes, the strategy is changing. But again, in these changes, I think uh, most retail investors might not be able to get um, uh, um, more shares. And so you leave this uh, more for the high net investors and institutional right. investors, which also will help the banks going forward in terms of price movement. You know that retail investors and high net investors don't really involve in day-to-day -day trading. So we we'll begin to see um, some um, banks selling at all-time high, maybe after the recapitalization. And like you said, they will be able to take high ticketing deal that will also help their bottom line. Right. So we'll leave it there. Thank you so much. Uh, quite interesting uh, how the market uh, is changing. Thank you so much, Mukta, for talking to us today. Appreciate your time on the show. Thank Mukta you for having me. Uh, analyst at Asar Investments. Uh,